Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Boy, oh boy, do we have an overwhelming amount of beauty products. I went to Sephora for like two things. This happened. It's a little bit of a refill on some of my more favorite items and then some newer things that just literally jumped off the shelf. It was like a voice was behind me at one point. Uh, it was actually just the Sephora employee that was like, get it, it this is so good, life-changing. Um, I also, my journey to minimalism is really not going well. So thumbs up if you have felt the same. I also went to Ulta. So I've got Sephora, Ulta, but wait, there's more. Uh, I do have a ton of PR in front of me as well. So kick back, relax grab a beverage. I have a smoothie in a holographic glittery cup, which is just making it extra good, um, that I got at Heb. Cheers. <laughs> People from Texas are like, oh, they're like cringing. They're like, you can't live here if you keep saying that. Anyway, they have everything at H. EB, good makeup selection and just like random kitchen stuff and like cool tumblers. I don't know, I love it. Woo! Okay, so where do we start? Um, I wanna share something I got in PR before I dig into the Sephora bag because I'm wearing it right now. It is a breath of fresh air as far as newer lip glosses go. This is from Bobbi Brown. This is the Crushed Oil Infused Gloss. I am wearing the shade Bellini. This is so good. I thought I was just gonna like pop this on and be like, hmm, cute, a gloss. But this is like gel. A lot of glitter, a lot of glimmer, a lot of shine, but you don't feel the texture of it. And it cushions to the lip. I don't know how it's doing what it's doing, but it feels expensive and luxurious. And kind of like if you hyped up spending money on a more expensive gloss and you bought this, you'd be like, that's what I paid for. That is what makes a difference. It feels like I'm more sophisticated than maybe I am. It's like, like an it girl kind of a gloss. I really like it. Um, they have a bunch of different shades. I also have Bare Sparkle and Sugar. I really also am curious what you guys wanna see in action. Okay, we're gonna start with some face items. Danessa Myricks. I love her line. I love her line. I do not receive PR. Everything you have ever seen on my channel, I have gone out and bought myself. I absolutely think this is such a genius line. And when I saw this, my heart skipped a beat. This is the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder with Upsilite technology. I don't know what that is, but it really sounds like just even the name Yummy Skin. Like I want that. <laughs> Open up. Okay, um, excuse me. Uh, okay, so look at how beautiful the packaging is. You get this little spatula on top and then this is the balm itself. I got a variety of colors to play with to see if I wanted to do like body bronzing, contouring, highlighting, just using as a base. I'm not really sure exactly what this is yet, but oh man, I am gonna find out. Let's scrape in together for the first time. Ooh, okay. Should we do like a, one of these? Just wanted to feel the texture on there. Ooh, you could full blown use this on the body. That is nice. So it does go down to a powder finish. And I imagine underneath foundation or even on top of foundation, which uh, let's, just, let's just see, why not? Yeah, gorgeous. Texture, A plus. I did also get the shade three and the shade one. Update for you all. I got the Dior Backstage Flash Perfect Concealer in the shade 1W. This was the best I could do. It was still like sold out of every good, good shade, but I actually quite like the shade of this once I got home and applied it. I did use this today. I just love the brush on here. Is so convenient to like get really around the nose, to get underneath the eye, to like 
fan out and do the full highlight contour thing, which I did do today. All of my other concealers right now feel a little bit too heavy. The humidity is something I am not used to coupled with like the crazy heat here in Texas. So I am having to kind of alter the type of products that I use. I normally am like shellac me, you know, I can totally go heavy underneath the eye. Even if it's a little bit too heavy, it will sink in and be fine. But here in Texas, I have found that I crease a little bit more and things almost pill up and ball up, I think due to the heat a little bit more. So I love the thin texture of this Dior concealer. It is definitely worth a look. I also saw that Beauty Blender has a new product. It's a bronze and highlight stack. I didn't even know this existed. I was so excited when I saw it. I was like, absolutely, yes, I need to try this. It is a cream on the top and then you have a cream bronzer on the bottom. So you have the full like double thing here. Love that. So I got the shade Pearl and Buff Champagne and Topaz. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should do like a life update, juicy Q and A, get ready with me. You guys can ask me anything about Texas, the new home, just life questions in general, go for it. And maybe we'll do like a get ready and test it all out. Also, I did use this one today. This is from Beauty Blender. I've only used this maybe like three times. This was newer and it's beautiful. It's just like this nice little flush. It's not very loud. It's even a little more subtle than the Honest Cream Blush. And it's a little bit shinier in like the gel texture. Like it's just a touch more gel and texture than cream. It's really, really gorgeous though. I do recommend it. Oh, I did get this. This is the Dream Big Beauty Blender and it is in quite possibly my most favorite color. I call it Hydrangea Blue. I know that's not what it is. It's like a, what do people call it? Periwinkle, like a periwinkle blue. I love this color, this and purple, which this sometimes leans into purple. And then that's like my favorite kind of purple. I just, I'm really attracted to this shade and I thought it was a cute little beauty blender and I needed a new one. So I grabbed that, the highlighter that I got you guys. I caved, I caved. In my mind thinking, I am forever done with Pat McGrath because it's just too gosh darn expensive. I was standing there and I was just contemplating and swatching and admiring. And that was when the Sephora employee was like, get it, do it. And I'm like, really, I should? Yes, we change your life. That's all it took. So we're gonna just like dive on in. Let's go with the glow. They have many different shades. She has blushes. Wow, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> um, that, do we see? Oh my, okay, that is like way more intense than I had bargained for. I um, am the tin man now. I kind of like it, it's fine. I also got one other item from Pat McGrath. This I have used and this was like, well, while we're here, like why not? Oh man, we're, we're like going in the side door here. No, that still didn't do it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Shoot. No, oh my gosh. Now I'm covered in sequins. Okay, so we have the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder in yellow. Go in. Ooh, memory lane. Let's see how this goes. I just remember this being like a gorgeous, super smooth, beautiful powder that would help everything to not crunch and crease. So I will let you all know if it's as incredible as I remember. I will say this, Sigma just came out with loose powders that are beyond insane. They are so good. Sigma you can find at Target, at least their eyeshadows and some of their brushes you can, otherwise you can go online. I don't have an affiliate code or anything like that. This was sent to me in PR though, so like full transparency, but I love this powder. It is so smooth. It's kind of a hybrid between an HD powder and say Huda Beauty that has much more pigment to it. You get the best of both and it just completely erases your pores. It completely sets the face without looking overly dry or powdery. I cannot say enough. It is so good. I love it. 
I repurchased this and you know, I'm gonna say, I don't know, I don't know. Fenty Beauty, the Diamond Bomb All Over Diamond Veil. Um, I don't know how I feel about this anymore. I put it on and I'm like, did I really think this was a casual everyday highlighter? Like that's like, I literally would wear this every single day and I loved it. And part of me still loves it. But then part of me is like, it is extremely glittery and just know that going in. So I revisited that one. Oh, I got another contour from Danessa and I got a really, really beautiful liner from Patrick Ta. <gasps> I'm excited about this. Like. If I'm gonna take you home, if I'm gonna purchase you with all the makeup I already have, like I need to be captivated. I need to like have like a fall in love moment. And that happened. I was at the end cap and I must, I don't know. I probably looked crazy, whatever. What's new? Why are you not coming out? Come on, you're home. Come on, come on, come on. That is it. I am calling the police. What is going on here? Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, <gasps> no. Stop this Texas heat. Are you kidding me? All right, well, that happened. Probably from the heat. How? No. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see if we can make it work. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Okay, well, you know what? I would love to complain about that, but I know everybody will bring up. Um, my KKW review, do you remember when it like flung out of the thing? And I'm like, but it still works pretty good. And everyone's like, she's a liar. She, look what happened. And I, oh man, back when that was the drama, sheesh, I would take it every day of the week. Anyway, this shade, this shade is really stunning. It's one of the newer ones. It is the shade Copper Gold. And I just think it'll be really, really flattering. Wait, there's more. I also have Patrick Ta's newest Major Dimension eyeshadow palette. Now the first one I was not wowed by, not that it was a bad palette, but just the price of it. And I was like, mm, I just, I'm not reaching for it enough. I don't know if it's super worth it. This just had more variety in my opinion. This shade right here is what did it. I think we should put it on. Let's just go there. I'm gonna tilt back. We're gonna do one of these. Try not to flash you. I'm sorry, I don't, you guys, I literally, PS, I am still not moved into my closet. So all of my clothes are in my garage and you would laugh watching me get ready. I literally am like an animal digging and I'm like, this'll work. So I cannot wait to get moved into the closet. We are still waiting on some trim, a mirror, and then their painting touch up bits that kind of got destroyed in the process of everything. So I don't want to move my clothes in and have them smell like paint and have work being done in there and have to move things in and out. So I've still not had access to putting my clothes away and unpacking, which is probably why my fashion and everything is like just so out of left field right now. Um, yeah, looking a, looking a little naked in this whatever. This is one of those dresses that online looks like a really good idea. And then you get it and you're like, who is the, who has shoulders? Like, like who is this made for? Like the straps are literally like this, okay? Like we're held together. Do you wanna laugh? I am held together with a makeup brush. Uh, so anyway, let's get this on. Look at that. Wow. Oh, freaking love it. That is so pretty. Are you kidding me? I like just transformed. <laughs> I really like this. That is a stunning shade. Look at these metallics are like buttery, smooth, soft, gorgeous. That. Wow. Oh my, this one is just it though. Yo, these metallics are like next level and then you get two creams in here as well. Expensive palette, but the quality is there. It really, really is. Let's go to Ulta. I got another eyeshadow palette, I know. I need to do an eyeshadow palette declutter. There are so many that I do not reach for anymore. And yeah, I, I, I feel it. Would you rather see like a top five must have like top five or top 10? Or do you wanna see like, I'm getting rid of this. I'm getting rid of this. I'm over this. Cause sometimes that's kind of fun too, you know? All right, so I have the chosen bun. 
from Beauty Bakery. Hidden gem, as far as I can tell. Um, I was looking at this in Ulta and I was like, the colors are really, really pretty in this. And I like Beauty Bakery's formula. So I wanted to take her home. How beautiful, right? Let's do just a couple more swatches on the other side of my... Oh man, okay, that's nice. So these have a thicker consistency where these are more duochromatic, like that poofy kind of sparkly thing. And this is like more bam, smooth, thicker metallic. You do have some mattes in here too, but I just love swatching the metallics. Let's do one matte just to see like, how good are you? You know what I'm saying? You're pretty good. I don't know that that's showing up on me. All right, so the mats I'm gonna have to play with separately because I do have some oil on the body which can kind of mess with swatching the matte shade. I do also have this from Essence. This is the Roma eyeshadow palette. Look how cute this is. So adorable and of course it's Essence. So, you know, it's not gonna break the bank. And I'm just really curious what this one down here is. Oh. A bound. And let's do like the more icy one here. I'm just gonna be loaded up by the time this video is done. <gasps> okay, can we even tell like which one is like, this one is a bajillion dollars and this one is next to nothing. Really, I'm loving them all. I did also pick up the Pure Skin Perfecting Mineral Glow Powder Bronzer. This is like an old fave of mine and I've had this like craving to restock and rebuild my collection with old favorites. So this is an old favorite and it just is so smooth, does not irritate my skin. Wow, that has like such a subtle soft vanilla scent to it. And it's just through and through one of my favorite bronzers. I did also get this Essence 16 hour cover and last powder foundation. I wanna try that out. I feel an Essence video coming. I also got these NYX Ultimate Glow Shots Liquid Shadows. Um, first swatch is kinda, what do we think, what do we think? Pretty good. Pretty good. The colors are unusual. Plum player. They're not as sparkly as I thought, to be honest. What do we think? Have you guys tried these? There's a green one that I got that's like Kiwi, Kiwi Killa. All right, Kiwi Killa. Let's see. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm gonna walk out into the kitchen after filming this and James is gonna be like, ma'am, step away from the couch. Okay, yeah. Oh, I had meant to try this in that Maybelline video. I will link below my Maybelline tested video where it was like three things that I don't like and one that I love, love, love. I still need to test this one out. Maybe it'd be two that I love, who knows. Uh, I also got the, oh, we all know about this, the Halo Glow Setting Powder from e.l.f. Mmm, oat milk cream. This is the High Impact Lipstick from Urban Decay. I've been so curious about this because the color is like so nudie and creamy and like everything that I love. Oh, wow. That's what I feel like I look like when I'm on a lipstick. You will never see me putting on lipstick in public, but I will put it on the internet, you know? But I don't like at a restaurant, like, you know, some girls, they're like, That's not me, I'm like, eh. I just, I can't. Hmm, well, well, well. I quite like it. I quite like it. Okay, we gotta stay all day lip color. We have the original micro tip liquid I What is this? This is a teal, deep teal. Stay all day liner with like the, this thing on the other side. Ooh, that is creamy and bold, but also deep and rich in color. I really like it. I have created such a mess in front of me. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, what is this one? This is the Urban Decay Secret Menu. Do you guys know about some secret menus that I need to know about? Do you do like secret menu at Starbucks? Secret menu at In-N-Out? I used to do that. I haven't had In-N-Out in quite some time, but I used to always get the chilies on everything. Oh, so good or like the grilled cheese back when I could eat buns because I don't do 
gluten. Or really, I don't do fast food anymore, but like secret menu. Do you guys have secret menu items that you feel like sharing? Please do. Let's give this a whirl. It's a gloss. It smells like a waffle cone. It's like a really beautiful nudie peach, but goes on pretty smooth and creamy. I like it. Patina, this is my OG fave. This one right here from Stila is another one of those like where I'm like looking at videos and I'm like, what is that? amazing lip shade. And patina was something I used to wear all of the time. I never went like super, super crazy into the liquid lip phase where everybody was like liquid lip 24 seven. That's all we wear. I would like tiptoe occasionally, but when I would go for it, I'd usually go for lawless. They have a very beautiful liquid lip or patina. And Lawless has so many like beautiful pinky nude shades, but this one from Stila, gorgeous. Like so gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. Ooh, I have another WeHo cream, West Hollywood. Same formula. This is just much more pink from Urban Decay. Oh, wow. Pretty. I think I really scored with some like new fun lipsticks. Uh, what else is this? Oh, REM Beauty. I was like, mm, I didn't want to review it. I, it didn't jump out at me. I kind of had this eye roll moment of like, why is every singer out there coming out with a makeup line? It just, I don't know. I kind of had a bit of a turn off moment with that. And you guys can get mad at me for that all you want. I don't care. It's fine. Um, I really support influencers who have their hands in it understand beauty and makeup and have the opportunity to launch cool things. And I just felt like oversaturation of everybody just like wanting to make money, just having this like quick thrown together brand just felt kind of off to me. And that's fine. The Ariana stands can come for me. It's fine. I can take it. I just, I didn't feel like that brand was like so absolutely incredible and amazing. And it was just kind of, hmm. Um, so I never reviewed it. A lot of you guys were like, review it. And I'm like, I just really don't want to, but let's, this one did jump out at me. Just the color did jump out at me. Are we seeing that? Let's find a better spot. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be rude. Let's just go right here. You see it? It's kind of hard to see. It's like a little glimmery. Is it, it's like not getting on the brush is the problem. So now that I totally am like, I don't like it. Mwah, 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 mwah. Um, you guys are gonna be like, oh wow, you tried to do a really bad swatch there, Tati. Um, no, let me show you what a good liquid shadow is, BRB. Stila, Wanderlust. Hello, right? Creamy, gorgeous. Amazing. Yeah, I just, I really love this formula. I kind of think because I started wearing this one again that I had in my head that this would be very similar. I'll go ahead and pop it on the lower lash line. Let's kind of give it a real fair shot. Okay, that's pretty. That is pretty. Swatched, terrible. Inner corner, it shows up. I look crazy now though. Um, these are also new brushes. Like the fun is just not stopping here. There's just so much that I wanna share with you all. These brushes from What's Up Beauty. Wow, handmade in Japan. Beautiful, gorgeous, blends everything out to perfection. I have been loving them. All right, let's continue. <laughs> there's, this is like, but wait, there's more, but wait, there's more. We have the Fix and Last Jelly Primer from Essence. You guys recommended this and I am excited to try it out. It feels like hair gel. Like, what is this? Do we really wanna be doing this? Do we wanna put this on our face? Maybe, I don't know, I will try anything. Uh, so expect to see that one soon. I also have from JCAT Beauty, we're moving into a little bit of PR. They have these really cute, kind of like a deck of cards themed makeup kits. And on the inside, what's really cool is you get instructions on how to use the water activated liners. But I just thought the setup was really nice, really well done. So you get a water activated liner and then you get you know two corresponding shades, one matte, one metallic to do a completed look. Of course, no rules with makeup. You could mix and match super easy. So love that. 
And then also let's take a peek because this is just a good old ginormal haul. I have the new Physicians Formula Breakfast Club collection. Let me know if you wanna see this. Kind of like in the comments, like what item do you wanna see in action the most? Leave me that. I also have these cool, gorgeous nail polishes from What's Up Nails. I think I'm going to play with these tonight. Those just have the prettiest like base and really gorgeous color to them. So I'm excited about that. I was lucky enough also to get sent some Shani Darden Retinol. It's just a serum. This is for fine lines and wrinkles, brightness, texture, elasticity. I've heard a lot of really good things about this line. I've never tried it, so I'm really excited to give that a go. And I also, oh my gosh, my desk is such a mess. I have from Laura Mercier, the new blushes that have a bit of a sheen to them. Not necessarily my favorite thing ever when a blush has shimmer, but these actually have kind of that, it's not a shimmer, it's like a baked glow, which is really, really beautiful. And it's so soft that at first I was like, mm, no. And then feeling it, I'm like, my mind has changed. Like, I think this could be really, really nice on. So I will have to wait and see about that. And I think that's where we will end this kind of chaotic, a lot going on, Really fun though, haul from Sephora, Ulta, and some PR. I will leave you with a perfume review. Let's see if this makes me sneeze. You guys, I've been off the fragrance. I have not had it in my life. I only wear fragrance if it's date night, if it's something like that. Otherwise, I wear nothing. Like, like we are talking bare bones, nothing, no candles. Soap in the shower for me, like James still loves his Sol de Janeiro, like he cannot not have that, it's his favorite. And since I stopped using fragrance, like that scent, I can smell it like down the hallway. It's just crazy how sensitive your nose gets when you kind of remove so much fragrance from your life. It's been very healthy, very healing for me. My allergies are like non-existent, but I still occasionally am like, oh, it just feels like so nice to have fragrance. So I do really appreciate this brand Skylar Clean Beauty that it's phthalate free and they sent me some of their new fragrances. Wow, that is nice. Indigo Valley, this one is Blueberry Mocha, Water Lotus and Clearwood. Let's look dangerously, let's just do it. Oh my, I don't know if that is like, do I wanna eat that or do I like wanna put a bouquet together? This is really, really nice. Ooh, that is very delightful. I like it. Okay, so we made it to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed just hanging out, kicking back. I'm back to two videos a week, which gives me more play to just hop on, chat with you guys and just express the love of makeup. Um, perfect timing, if you could hear Puka barking, letting me know that someone is here. I think we're installing more chandeliers. <laughs> so I'm still gonna do a home tour once we are 100% set. So stay tuned for that as well. Subscribe, ring the bell. I love you all so much. Go have a good one, whatever you are doing, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.